Good morning, friends. Um, I figured that making this video in my pajamas, having just woken up recently, would be the most accurate way to teach you how to make coffee in a French press. <laughs> the only things that you're really going to need are French press, coffee beans, and a kettle. There are plenty of other things that I can tell you that you will need the more you get into it and the more um, coffee snob you become. I tend to do a hybrid of those things, especially depending on how tired I am. So uh, let's get into the anatomy of a French press. Okay, so here is my trusty French press. It's a little bit dusty. So now you can kind of see our exploded French press. This is just the handle holder over here so you don't burn yourself. This is the beaker, it's literally a beaker. And then you have a three system strainer that is connected to a plunger and then you have your coffee scoop. You want them to be nice and clean so that you don't affect the taste of your coffee in the long run. It's really important to make sure that your French press is clean. Coffee oils will collect on the edge of any surface that you're brewing your coffee in. Sometimes it is a good thing to have um, in other methods of brewing, like in a mocha pot. Um, the Italians will tell you that the more oils that your mocha pot builds up, the better your coffee tastes is gonna be. That doesn't necessarily apply to a French press. When you brew over time, those oils can go rancid and make your coffee taste bad. Everybody has a different liking to how their coffee tastes, so you kind of have to experience this on your own and decide what you want your coffee to taste like, but also cleanliness is probably not so much of a bad thing. always have to take this apart. You always have to take this off of your plunger and clean it. This collects so many grounds and the last thing that you want to have is grounds in your coffee. And then this screws onto the bottom of the plunger here. So now we have our plunger put back together. We're gonna put that to the side for the moment. Then you have your coffee scoop. One of these for me or two of these if I'm making coffee for me and Andy. So here are the same beans that I use in my espresso on uh, my Instagram. Got these from Joe Coffee in North Hollywood and they're my trusty local coffee shop that I like to get my beans from. Also, I really love trying different beans from different brands. Two scoops of beans. Obviously, my beans have not been ground yet. But this is my trusty grinder. I didn't have a grinder until probably six months ago. What I would do is I'd buy the bag of beans and I would ask the baristas to grind it for me on a coarse setting. I'm going to put my kettle on. That's this one. This is a gooseneck Cario kettle. This is not necessary. The shape of the spout just kind of helps control the water and put it exactly where you want it to be. While that is boiling, I'm gonna wait until the very last second to grind my beans because you want to grind them right before. Obviously, if you don't have a grinder, your ground beans are gonna be just fine. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Okay, stick with me here. What we're gonna do, when the water is boiling, we're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna pour a little bit of the water into the mug to heat it up. Then we're gonna grind the beans. The ground beans are gonna go into the French press and then we're gonna get into it, okay? into our mug to preheat it. I had to plug in my grinder on the cat tree because there wasn't enough plugs over there. So we're gonna turn the timer on. Ooh. Okay, put the heated mug to the side. Excuse my mess. <laughs> and now we're gonna take the beans and put them into the French press. Pour in the middle and you just wanna put in enough to wet the beans. Oh, now you can't see it. 
So you see that there are bubbles in there? And I definitely didn't do a good job of wetting all the beans, but it's okay, we're gonna be fine. That is the gases from the beans being released by the hot water, and that's a good thing. You want the beans to sit in that for, you know, 30 seconds or so. You want them to sit in there so that they can release those gases into what will be your coffee later. Now, you're gonna pour very slowly into the middle of the beans. And when I was taught to do this, we didn't want to disturb the beans very much, which is why we use the gooseneck. I'm gonna look to the side. All right, so we're about at the top of the label, which is fine. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit more in here. Honestly, you could probably put as much water in there as you wanted to, as long as you're putting a decent amount of beans in there. I'm gonna set a timer. We're gonna let that do its thing. You can kind of see there are more bubbles forming, more gases forming, that's great. So I'm gonna see you in about two minutes, two and a half minutes. At about the one minute mark on the timer, you're going to take, ideally, a wooden spoon. I don't have a wooden spoon that's small enough to fit in there. So I'm gonna use a regular spoon, but you wanna be super careful with anything metal. It's recommended to not use metal to do this because you could crack the glass. I'm going to not touch the glass. Yeah, that's just uh, doing what we can with what we have. So we're at the one minute. All right, so now you're going to break the crust. If you can see at the top here, there is a layer of the beans that are all floating there. You're going to release the gases even more. That's the crema. So just like when we make the espresso, there is that light layer on the top. Same thing, just a different form of it. Blender on. Put on your top, and then slowly plunge. Now that we've plunged, I dumped out the water. The grate up here is lined up with the spout, otherwise your coffee will not come out. And we're going to serve. While that's cooling though, yes, there are a hundred thousand rules that you could follow for making a French press coffee. The purpose of this video to begin with was to make it so that you're not afraid to try it. Oh, I'm gonna burn my tongue, I know it. Okay, tasting coffee is going to be a whole separate video, but I will drink that black. I hope that this made you feel confident enough to try making French press coffees. Why is somebody lawn mowing? There's no lawn to mow. I hope that this gave you some confidence to try to make your French press at home. It's really hard to screw it up. The only way that you could is you put too much water to too little beans or too many beans to too little water. You figure that out as you go. And yeah, I might get comments from coffee connoisseurs. It's, it's like art. You do it your way. I just like good coffee and I think that you deserve good coffee. You can absolutely do it at home. I believe in you. Ask me any questions you want and we'll get caffeinated together. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is an adventure in a how-to video that I've never done before and I hope that you got something out of it. Let's have coffee together next time. I will upload my next coffee video on Wednesday. And if you're here from the CrossFit videos, 18.2 is coming up. The announcement is tomorrow on Thursday and uh, we get to it on Friday, Friday Night Lights. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to have you as, as a subscriber. It seems like the majority of people who are watching are not. And if you don't like me after a while, you can always hit subscribe and I won't be heard about it. It is what it is. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.